animal tissues. We call that chapter as a structural organization in animals. Structural organization, how an animal is organized or what are the organization of its body, that is what you call as structural organization. In this chapter, uh, as uh, you can see structural organization in animals, in this particular chapter we are dealing with uh, two subtopics. One of the topics which we will be starting today is animal tissues. And another topic is uh, morphology. I guess you know the word meaning morphology. Morphology means uh, the branch of science that deals with the study of external features. Now, in this particular chapter, we are going to study in detail the morphology of an organism, Periplaneta americana, which we call as cockroach. So we'll start today's classes with animal tissues. So when we are going to start with animal tissues, we know that we are learning animals. About the branch of science that deals with animals, we call it as zoology in the brain. Animals, living organisms, we divide unicellular, which means one cell. One cell will act as an organism. And multicellular means too many cells associate together and functions as an organism. So in the case of unicellular organism, when I say unicellular organism, they are organisms, one animal. But I am a multicellular organism, you all are multicellular organism. But a unicellular organism, it, it, it consists of one cell, feeding, respiration, uh, reproduction, division, this cell right? We would have learned, Protista in the parenting group of kingdom. Now, another complex animals like Virimbo, these single cells will associate together to form multicellular organisms. Unil Kudal cells Kudicherna or organism form G, and that is what you call as multicellular organisms. Is it clear? Now, in multicellular organisms, definitely multi, many, multicellular, more than one cell. So many cells are there in a multicellular organism. So in multicellular organisms, we come across a particular term called tissues, right? Tissues. Tissue means uh, you have learned. You have learned this word in non-codata. The word tissue, tissue level organization is seen in Nidaria and Tenophora. We learned Platyhelmin, Tenophora, Nidaria. They have tissue level of organization. So what exactly is this tissue level organization? Tissue level in the parayim bowl, one group of cells will associate together to perform a single function. Suppose, this is a multicellular theoretical picture of a multicellular organism where you have many cells. It is multicellular, body is formed of many cells. That's why we multicellular in the multicellular. Okay, so this is a multicellular organism. Let us assume uh, it can be anything, right? In this multicellular organisms, from Nidaria onwards, there is something which we call as tissues. What exactly is tissue? If you want to define it, it's a group of cells. Yeah, consider a group of cells which are specialized to perform. Let us take a group of cells. This is a group of cells. They are specialized to perform a particular function. This is another group of cells. This is another group of cells. So in this is another group. There are different groups of cells. In multicellular organisms, there are different group of cells. A bunch of cells. A bunch of cells. Korche cells. Some cells. Young love feeding in the guide in Okikola. Corchis cells were a young movement a guide in Okikola. Corchi very very young respiration a guide in Okikola. Corchi very protection a guide in Oka. Corchi very reproduction up and then die. Our organism level work is divided. Right? Our chain of work is divided. Work is divided. Yeah, but she would work a chain of group in the last cells uniform. They are all similar. Angene would a single function perform a chain. 
ഒരു കൂട്ടം സെൽസിന് നമ്മൾ പറയുന്ന പേരാണ് ടിഷ്യൂസ്